And it would seem as if somebody should have done something that we could see. And they haven't, as far as we can tell. Research in the Fermi paradox often considers that advanced civilizations might not last long enough to be easily detectable. They may be transient on a cosmic scale, meaning they arise and then disappear, due to factors like self-destruction or natural catastrophes. Researchers argue that if technological civilizations routinely self-destroy or otherwise burn out, then the chances of overlapping with our own window of detectability become very small. This short lifetime would explain why we don't see evidence of them today. Carl Sagan famously said it's possible that civilizations don't get beyond the stage that we're at. So when you industrialize as a civilization, so the pre-space flight era or pre-interstellar flight era, you will hit problems which are probably common to all civilizations because they're just part of the laws of physics. So one of them is the challenge you pose to the climate of your planet. As you industrialize and build a bigger civilization, you'll use resources, you will affect the atmosphere of the planet and so on. So there's a challenge and, and you have to manage that. There's the de development of nuclear weapons, for example. So at some point, you will develop nuclear physics if you're going to be a spacefaring civilization. So you will develop the ability to destroy yourself, which is kind of, you know, it's not long. You go back 100 years and we didn't have the capability to destroy ourselves. Now we could. We could choose to destroy our civilization. So it may be that those challenges are very difficult to navigate.